let's take a slight detour for this video. Uh, in the last video, we came across uh, dealing with the margins for images. We came across the EM uh, unit of measuring the size of fonts. Okay, basically the text size. Okay, so you've got a page called Absolute and Relative Text Size. It was part of the resources. Uh, if we go into it, uh, this is what we see uh, in the browser. Okay, so what are we actually looking for? Uh, we've got three horizontal lines here using the HR tag. And they, those three lines are separating four lines of text. Okay, and above those three lines, we've got some small text. Okay, and the font size for that is set at 0.25 inches. Okay, the next text size is 0.5 inches, so it's twice as big. Uh, the next text size is one inch, twice as big again. Uh, and the next text is twice as big again. Good is twice as big. For now is twice as big. Uh, and then buy is twice as big as good. Okay. Let's look at the HTML at the same time. Let's try and make sense of them while we can see them both uh, in a split screen. Okay. Now you have these resources here. So I'm just going to take the liberty of leaving the text small. Because what I want you to do is to see the patterns. Okay, on line nine, and I just suggest you have the uh, code open here uh, uh, on your own machine here. Okay, I'm setting the style. Uh, this is CSS style. It's not in a style sheet. It's inside a tag. Okay, it's called inline CSS. Okay, so I uh, I don't have any style uh, up in the head tag at all. So it's, it's bang inside the body tag here. And I'm setting the font size 0.25 inches. Okay. The paragraph is going to pick up that font size, okay, because there's no extra font size style for it. Uh, the, the div is set for font size 2EM, okay. 2EM means twice the font size of the parent tag, okay. So if, if you think of the div tag as being the child, the div tag is immediately inside the body tag because the div tag starts when the paragraph closes. Okay, so the div is not in there. The div is immediately inside the body. So the body is 0.25 inches font size. Div is 2 em, therefore the div is 0.5 inches. Inside the div is a H1, and font size is 2 em again. So we've got two tags or elements. They're both 2 em, and you might think, well, if they're 2 em, they must be the same. Okay, but they're not because EM is a relative unit. Okay, div is a child of body, but div is also a parent tag for H1. Okay, so if H1 says 2 em, H1 font size is going to be twice the font size of the parent tag, the div. Okay, and then inside the H1, we've got a paragraph. Now, you would never do this. Okay, you would never have a paragraph inside the H1. If I was to validate this code, I would get uh, uh, definitely get an error for that. Okay, I'm just doing this for illustrative purposes. Okay, so my font style here is 2EM. Okay, P is a child of H1. So P is P tag text is going to be twice the size of H1. And then inside the paragraph, I've got a span tag which we would use for a small amount of text, okay? And I'm setting font size 2EM. So I've got 2EM here four times, okay? And in each case, the font size is actually different, even though 2EM is the same on all of them, okay? So EM is font size, uh, relative font size, okay? If you compare that to below the tree horizontal lines, the HR tag, is a self-closing tag, just like link tag or image tag or the BR tag, okay? These are all self-closing. Uh, so three horizontal lines. And what have I got then? I've got a paragraph tag. I've got a div with a H1 inside it, uh, with a P inside it. Sorry, there's another self-closing tag. There's a BR tag there. It just puts in an extra blank line. Okay, so notice this time, we've got 0.5 inches four times. And when we come over here, uh, 
we can see that we have 0.5 inches four times. Once here, once here, once here, and then inside this last line, uh, the word U has got a span tag around it. Okay, so inches, pixels, centimeters, millimeters, these are all absolute font size. EM, EX is another one. These are relative uh, font sizes. Okay, we can use either. Uh, we set the width of the wrapper to 1,000 pixels. Uh, 1 EM is about 16 pixels. So if you divide 1,000 pixels by 16, you get roughly 63. So uh, you could try that if you want. Uh, set the width of the wrapper to 63 EM. It should be practically the same uh, the same size. 16 won't go into 1,000 equally. So slight, slight difference.